Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Dahlia Society. Today I have got some exciting new jackets for the new season. Whatever season you're in, I'm sure you're gonna find one that you will be able to wear and love. Now personally, for me, I love a good jacket. I find they are one of the most valuable items in my wardrobe. I think they're great because they, they can be understated. You can really casual them down or you can dress them up if you're going out somewhere really nice and fancy. And depending on what you want to accessorize them with, you really can change the whole look of a jacket. Before we get started, I must let you know I have got a brand new make on here. This is the wonderful Kaya Kotigan jacket. I'll insert some pics so you can see exactly how it looks. It's a wonderful new pattern from Sew to Grow. Lindsay is from Queensland here in Australia and she has designed this gorgeous, kind of an understated jacket because you can make it in things like a sweater knit. Uh, I've made it in a beautiful boiled wool. Um, this beautiful boiled wool was actually uh, gifted to me by Darn Cheap Fabrics. They have three locations here in Melbourne, but I love this color. It's bright enough that I could probably possibly wear right throughout the whole year. And I can tone it sort of down with uh, more muted colors. I even love the fact that I can put some different pastels with it and make it more of a kind of gelato or bubblegum inspired palette there. And I love that I can also pop a little white t-shirt underneath and really dress it down with a pair of jeans as well. So the Codigan, uh, Kaya Codigan, you can make, as I say, in sweater, brushed fleece, uh, things like Ponty is fantastic, as well as a beautiful boiled wool. So one of the many new patterns released this season. Now the Kaya comes in extra small to four extra large, so a great size range there. It's a really, really easy make. I love that also Lindsay has got a free sew along there. You can follow along there and uh, sew with her step by step. It makes it a really um, easy make, not intimidating at all. And it's an unlined jacket, so it's fantastic. You have got facings, but the way she explains it, it's just set out so, so easy. Uh, I had this made within a day, within an afternoon actually. Uh, by the time I cut the fabric out and followed along with the instructions, I had it all done. So I just added on the buttonhole a bit later and I find that that beautiful kind of self-folding lapel is a really really great easy design feature so it's got everything you need there uh, as far as the jacket goes but it's not too difficult it's very very easy for a beginner to tackle as well I love the length it's not too long not too cropped so it's just perfect to wear uh, for all seasons there. So that's the Kaya. So I'm gonna to talk to you about some fantastic new jackets, some new and some old, but jackets that I personally think would be great to have in the wardrobe for either heading into autumn, fall, or like us here in Australia, into spring, summer. Because jackets we know can be made from all different variety of either wovens or knits. And you know, it's great to have things in some beautiful um, natural fibers, things like wools and linens, but maybe something more cozy like a sweater knit uh, would be fantastic as well for heading off into autumn. Uh, even things like a gorgeous uh, cashmere blend wool is so lovely to wear to throw on for a bit of extra warmth. So we've had a brand new pattern release as well this week from Megan Nielsen. Megan Nielsen patterns are very, very popular. I think most of you would know who she is, another Aussie designer. And she's come out with a beautiful hovia, I think it's pronounced, and the jacket or coat has got five different versions. So I think that's such a versatile pattern when you can get such good money's worth, depending on what fabrics you wanna make it from, and all the different looks that you can get out of this one pattern is fantastic. Now the sizes are broken up into two size ranges, you know, you've got the zero to 20 or the 14 to 30 curve range. And I'm gonna talk you through the different looks. The first look is version A, and that is a mid length unlined jacket with a collar band, a really lovely style, nice and simple. You've got version B, which is a mid length jacket to be made in a quilted fabric. So you can either quilt your own fabric or you can purchase fabric that has been pre-quilted. They are around, you just need to do a bit of searching for them. But if you're a person that wants to take on 
uh, a quilting task and make it into a beautiful coat you can do that too the next version is c which is a lined coat it has a collar band and belt so a little bit of a longer length there a gorgeous style um, jacket to be made maybe in the boiled wool or a cashmere blend you can line that in a beautiful uh, silky lining but that version c lets you look around for maybe some more classic style coating fabrics to have it lined as well so if you're heading off into those cooler months and you want a warm coat that's the version you'd go for uh, then you've got version d which is a quilted coat with the binding so it's a longer length with that beautiful crisp binding as well and version e is an unlined cropped version jacket with binding as well and they've all got beautiful pocket detail i just think this pattern is brilliant it's definitely one that i would like to have in my wardrobe it is a bit reminiscent of the tamarack jacket by Greenline studios one of my other favorite quilted jackets and the tamarack, I'll just refresh your memory from Grain Lines, a pick of me and mine. I loved making that. It's definitely one of those projects, those labors of love that you want to put a bit more time and effort into and really make yourself a unique piece of wearable art. I just think this uh, Megan Nelson pattern uh, is just lovely and definitely one I'd love to think about making myself. Each to Stitch has come out with a gorgeous new coat jacket coat it's hard to distinguish between jackets and coats i think it really depends on the individual person but to me a jacket is a little bit more of a casual style but you definitely can casual this one down depending on what you make it from now being a new release the lagan jacket is on sale at the moment it comes in sizes 00 to 40. you do have cup sizes there and some beautiful princess seams and it can be made in any variety of fabrics either a coating boiled wool um, non-stretch fleece even a gabardine and you can use some beautiful lining fabrics so if you want to make a pop of interest you can do that now i can even imagine this in a beautiful heavier weight style linen i just think it would just be gorgeous uh, even in a beautiful jacquard i uh, think about things like um beautiful drills and canvases too which you can get in all manner of variety of colors i love the classic styling in this it's got a beautiful kind of a sculpted feel to it it brings that waist in as well and such a beautiful line it gives as well so it's really really pretty uh, pretty coat and I think it would just look equally as nice with a pair of jeans and boots as it would over a lovely dress the next jacket that has caught my interest I've seen this before and I've actually had one of my beautiful viewers mention that she'd made one of these and was really impressed with how it came up now that's the Liesl & Co Yannicka jacket it's a crop style jacket you can make it in either a wool a coating fabrics jacquard brocade denims linens canvases it really depends on what you want to sort of the feel you want to give the jacket i think it looks really smart in a beautiful brocade fabric with that lovely silky lining too it's got a gorgeous feature of like a sort of a stand-up collar and a little cut out back detail which is really pretty as well now the designer has said it's a cross between a blazer and a cardigan so you're getting that little bit of comfort and a little bit of a classic style blaze look to it it is in sizes 0 to 20 and it has uh, cup sizes which is really great as well and it doesn't have it any set in sleeves so it's done that sort of more easy way no closures no zips and no buttons so really classic easy little style jacket i think it's definitely one i want to tackle it's just a matter of finding the perfect fabric for me now one jacket i'm about to begin sewing i do have my beautiful boiled wool there as you see i'm a fanatic with boiled wool and a lot of you guys have said you've had trouble finding boiled wool in um whatever country you may be in i know here in australia and new zealand it is a lot easier to find so we are very lucky the jacket i'm thinking about is the lion jacket it's a really lovely cropped style simple jacket almost like a cardigan style with a little pop closures there it comes in sizes 6 to 22 and it must be made with either a boiled or a felted wool that won't fray because you do have those um those cut edges that aren't bound or lined so be very careful with your fabric choices there but love the look of how simple it is it's a really pretty style crop jacket and let's not forget about some other fantastic patterns that Tazuni does have and i've made quite a few of their jackets before i love their sydney jacket it's a lovely kind of a cutoff style drapey a very lovely line like asymmetrical lines there and it's great just to pop on over because it doesn't have the sleeves the other style i love the look of is the melbourne trench coat i think trench coats are really handy and you can make them in a nice lightweight fabric they're great to sort of throw on over when it's not too cold and you just want that little layer of protection there but they look very smart and very chic and classic and i just think every wardrobe needs some kind of trench coat so that is next on my sewing table it's waiting there for me to cut it out so it won't be far away i'll be able to show you guys how that one's come up 
The next uh, pattern I have to talk about is the new release from Merchant and Mills. It's the September jacket. The lovely September jacket uh, has been described as overcoat meets duster jacket. So you're getting that lovely casual feel of a duster that's nice and loose over the jeans, casual down. It meets the overcoat style, which can be really dressed up depending on like, your buttons and your fabric that you choose there. Size range there is six to 28. And the fabric, can, it can be either lined or unlined. Fabrics they've described that look fantastic with this jacket are things like oil skins, wool, linen, denim, twills, and canvases. It really would be a handy style to have there to layer through different seasons. Another fantastic casual style jacket I have made quite a while ago now that I've loved wearing, I really must make another one, is the Helen's Closet Pona jacket. Now this can be made in a longer line or a short crop jacket. The one I made was in a linen. I love wearing that, especially through the warmer months when you want to have that layering effect. But it also can be made in warmer coating fabrics for the cooler seasons as well. So it's a great versatile little pattern, unlined uh, and very, very easy and simple to make. And I know a lot of you guys love Helen's Closet's patterns for their simplicity and their ease of making instructions are fantastic there too. I think there is nothing better than a little linen jacket to have in those transseasonal kind of days where it is still a little bit warm, but maybe it gets chilly towards the evening and they're great over dresses as well. A little cropped linen jacket could be your best friend in a wardrobe. Now this style I've talked about before, it's from Grain Line. It's called the Cortland Trench. It's a crop style trench coat. And I've heard this is a lovely style on. I know it's, it's really classic and easy wear. And also it looks fantastic dressed up and down as well. And that's what you want, that versatility of a pattern that you can wear almost with anything and dress up and down, I think is always great to have in a wardrobe. And this kind of 60s style, almost a peacoat style trench uh, is really lovely on and can be made the variety of fabrics there too. Now, last spring, I did a pattern test for the lovely Gerardo Davies and that is the overlap jacket. It has kind of like a robe style wrap effect with a beautiful tie. This one is great because it can be made in a lot of different fabrics and you can line it or have it unlined as well. I'll pop some pictures so you can remember that one. But I've loved wearing that. The crop style is lovely with, with a pair of jeans. I made it in a lovely cotton sateen fabric and I just put a little clasp or a little pin with that one. I think it's really, really pretty on. And the longer version I made in a cord jacket. That looks gorgeous, that longer length version in a heavier kind of a coating or boiled wool. Um, and that one also so I made it in a corduroy fabric. I loved wearing that too. So it's a really classic style, but very, very simple as well. Sometimes with those classic style wraparound robe style jackets, all you need is a little waist tie to really set it off and dress it up a little bit too. Now this jacket is one that's caught my eye quite a while ago. It's not a new pattern, but it's the Pauline Alice Aurora jacket and it's a quilted style jacket. I love the curve to it. It's a very unique style and one of those kind of, maybe make it have a cotton or a linen as well, might be beautiful, but it would be great to wear through all seasons as well. Pauline Alice does have some lovely coat patterns, jacket patterns on her website as well. Now everyone knows my love affair with Starlight patterns. There are about three jackets I think you're gonna love from them that have caught my eye. The first one is the Allegra jacket. That is a beautiful, unique style art sleeve. Uh, it's a gorgeous style lines, um, more of a crop style jacket. Then you've got the Adelaide, which is another crop style jacket with button front. Uh, I love these boxy style jackets. I just think they're very, very wearable and easy to layer in your wardrobe too. And the other is the Estelle jacket, I think would be fantastic to wear for all the seasons. Their Closet Core Patterns released this Sienna Maker jacket quite some time ago there. It's got a great size range. It's one of those patterns I've had in the stash. I never got around to making it, but I can see this in a beautiful linen or a twill. Uh, it's that kind of lightweight style version jacket that you can wear for a lot of seasons too. The jackets can be really, really versatile if they're made in those lighter weight, light to mid weight um, things like canvases and twills are very, very handy to have because they are a lot easier to layer when the weather isn't as cold as what you would wear, say, a coating fabric. And they're the ones I get the most wear from. And the last jacket I'm going to talk about is Wardrobe By Me. It's the Canvas Bomber Jacket. I love a good bomber jacket. Now, last year, my daughter made a beautiful bomber jacket with some lovely jacquard fabric from Tazuti patterns. She used a big four pattern that I must say really uh, had a head 
scratching quite a bit. The instructions weren't really that detailed as far as the lining goes. If you're venturing into coat making or jacket making and you haven't done a lined jacket before, I highly recommend getting a good uh, indie pattern to help you through step by step because she had a, quite a bit of trouble with this one. It ended up a beautiful pattern on. I must say the fabric was just exquisite. Um, the lining, it all ended up looking perfect. But there was a few moments there when we really were getting quite frustrated with those pattern instructions. And yeah, I just think it's sort of something that may put a beginner or newbie so us off. Uh, coat making and jacket making isn't that hard. I think it just depends on how good a pattern and instructions you've got there that can really hold your hand step by step. And things like sew alongs are fantastic for boosting your confidence. If you don't want to tackle something on your own, you want someone there to, to go through step by step. I think that's fantastic. I hope that you've enjoyed that today. Just a few of my favorite jacket patterns, some that I've made and some that I'd like to make. And they are very versatile, not so hard to make. And I think something that maybe you want to get your teeth stuck into a little bit more of a challenge. It can be great little sewing task there to get yourself going. And I've got to apologize too. It's been a bit windy out here. We've got the wind chimes going off, but the smell of the jasmine is just beautiful. It's really blooming at the moment. I had to bring you out and show you exactly, uh, yeah, how many blooms I've got there but on a nice windy day as long as it's not too cold the fragrance is just so lovely so I couldn't resist bringing you out here wind and all hopefully it hasn't been too annoying for you so thanks for watching today if you haven't subscribed don't forget to do that and hit that little notification bell and you won't ever miss out on any of my episodes and if you've enjoyed this episode please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps other people find my channel and hopefully enjoy the sewing chit chat Take care and happy sewing and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.